What's up guys, it's Eric from Rare Candy and today we're back with our fourth box of our Sun and Moon Guardians Rising booster box case. So if you guys did not see parts one through three, I'll be sure to put a link in the description or on the video somewhere if you do want to check them out. But we definitely got some pretty cool stuff so far, uh, but there's still a lot we could pull from the set and we're gonna try with this fourth box. So as usual, I'm sure everyone knows the big card to try to get in the set. It's gonna be Tapu Lele GX. Uh, it's kind of a given, so we're going to try to get as many of those as we possibly can. And then, of course, there's a bunch of cool secret rare cards in this set as well, like the double colorless energy and that, okay, that part of the box broke off, I guess, that's fine. <laughs> uh, double colorless energy, uh, aqua patch, and then some of the rainbow rares like Decidueye as well. So if we can pull some of that stuff, that would be great. Um, we actually, uh, I think, should be able to pull two out of a case if... Uh, if as far as like the gold cards go. But anyways, so if you did not watch part one, I did mention that was gonna be a regular speed opening, but all of the other parts are gonna be speed openings, including this one, since let's face it guys, you wanna see the ultra rares that we pull, you wanna see the pull rates and all the good stuff. You don't care about the commons and uncommons, you know, after the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, et cetera time. So let's just uh, dig right into it. So come on, secret rare, double colorless, secret rare aqua patch, even max potion or E hammer would be cool as well. Well, let's see what we can get. A Lone Graveler and a Heliolisk. Okay, nothing too special there. Okay. I guess we'll open it from this side. Yeah, ooh, we got Reverse Hollow Aqua Patch and a Hollow Mudsdale. I think that's actually my first uh, reverse aqua patch. I'd prefer the secret rare one. I really would, but I will settle for the reverse ones for right now. So we got reverse whale lord, which is a rare, and a whisk cash, and nothing else too crazy in that pack. Uh, I'll straighten this box up a little bit. Sorry, I got a little bit OCD there. <laughs> Let's see. So we have ourselves a reverse trubbish. Very nice. And a Wailord. Uh, okay, so we did get an E Hammer, which is a good card. That is fine with me. Uh, come on, I'm just bad at opening packs in this particular box. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> Alright, guys, and actually, if you want some free codes, take this one. And we every Friday give out free codes on our Twitter and Instagram at RareCandyTCG. So be sure to give us a follow on there and you'll get some more free codes. So here we have a reverse Brooklet Hill, which is kind of cool. It's a decent card. And a rare Trevenant, which is also playable. So that is cool. Max Potion was hiding back in there too. Decent card. So nothing crazy out of that pack, but definitely some playable stuff we can use. So we got Stuffle and Pangoro, AKA Trash. But we did get Field Blower, which is definitely a great card. Okay, so we have Machamp Reverse and a Hollow Absol. So first Hollow of the pack, and Machamp was a rare, so definitely not too bad of a pack as far as uh, just like the rarity of the pools, I guess. Okay, so we have Reverse Oracle, which is a decent card, and a Victory Bell. No Ultra Rares just yet, so. We're bound to hit one here soon though. Because usually, like I've said in the other boxes, about six ultra rares per box is the average, so. We should hit one anytime soon. So we have Geodude and Rayquaza, okay. Decent little playable card. A couple okay uncommons there as well. So about halfway done with this side of the box and nothing. So that's got me feeling a little bit worried. I'm hoping our luck hasn't dried out yet. Uh, a low in Vulpix and a Probo Pass. So Vulpix is definitely good to get. I'm okay with that. Nothing else too special. So I guess all of the playable GXs are hiding in the back here. Hopefully. Okay, so we got Clefable and a Hollow Blissey. Okay, nothing too special there. So God, this is uh, not going so good for this box so far. 
I mean, granted, we do have a whole other half of the box, but let's see. So we got Delmies and Mini, or Delmies, maybe that's what it is. So we're doing good on our hollows. We got Aqua Patch as well. Pretty good on our hollow pool so far, but um, our ultra rare pools are, oh God, this is a stressful box to open so far. Let's see, I can't even open the packs. So we have a Rockruff and Oracorio. Rockruff is a good little card to get though, and Aqua Patch, so no, not terrible. But what's five packs left and we haven't even hit an ultra rare? This is, oh God, this is terrifying. Sand Slash and Swella, what is this? Oh my God, this is, this is scary stuff here. I'm not gonna lie, guys, we have to hit something good here. Have to, we need something. And we get, well, it's a full art, but it's a full art Como. This card is horrible. So guys, I, if you guys don't know, I am a player as well as a collector. Um, so I do need this for my collection. I do complete like master sets, but this card will never see play. I would bet money on it. It is terrible. Uh, and that kills me because I love Como as a Pokemon. So definitely not a card I would like to be our full art of the box. Hopefully we still have another full art or secret rare or something else to make up for this guy, but this box has me worried for sure so far. I can, I can barely get the packs open. We're not getting many ultra rares. The one I do pull is like kind of junky as far as playability, so we'll see what happens. Bad juju though. So we have vanilla rescue stretcher though is a good card. So two packs left for the side of the box. This is horrible. Um, and that's assuming that the ultra rares are evenly distributed through both sides of the box. So we'll have to see how that goes. So Sandshrew and Lycanroc. Okay, so Lycanroc is a playable one. I've pulled a couple of these at this point though, so I'm not too blown away by this pull. But nevertheless, it is definitely a good card and I could potentially trade this away maybe uh, to get some other stuff I need for the set. So we'll definitely sleeve this guy up. And he is a bit more playable than Como, so we're gonna, we're gonna keep him over here by himself, I think. And Sharpedo and Gothitelle. So first half of the box, guys, I gotta say, I am not, uh, I am not excited. I am extremely worried. But uh, I know the Guardians Rising boxes are not mapped like the first Sun and Moon boxes. So you never know. That might just mean that the rest of our ultra rares are like disproportionately in this other half. So we have Blissey and Oracorio, double rare. That's at least kind of nice. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, Lunala and Lilian, double rare yet again. So nothing special as far as the actual pools, but you no know, double rare is kind of neat, I guess. Oh, okay, we have a full art support. We got Hala. Okay, that's actually a decent card. Um, I'm not really looking for this one as far as like collecting. I already have the one I need, but nevertheless, definitely a way better pull than that. Uh, uh, Kama OGX. Everyone loves these uh, full art supporters. So very, very nice. Okay. We got a choice band and altar of the moon as well. But Hala could be potentially be good. It definitely has place in the Solgaleo Lorantis deck. Uh, maybe also in a Tauros or Drampa deck, just like any deck that abuses their GX move early since you shuffle your hand into your deck, draw four cards, or it's seven if uh, if it's a uh, if you've already used your GX move. But let's see, um, it's kind of a playable card, but kind of not. Which side do we put on, guys, left or right? Uh, let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree, but I think for now I'm gonna set it on the side with Como, just because I'm not sure if there is like a tier one deck can, that can really use it. But nevertheless, very pretty card, and uh, everyone loves the full art support, so maybe I can trade that one away to get some other stuff that I might need to complete my set. But definitely a good pull though, I think. But I just think playability-wise, it's not quite uh, where it needs to be just yet. 
So we got Fletchling and Talonflame. Kind of cool. We got both parts of the evolution line. And actually, if we can get this full art support, that's really what I'm looking for is Mallow. So let's see. So we have Altar of the Sun and Heliolisk. Would prefer Altar of the Moon. So if we got some of those in this box, that would be awesome. Maybe some reverse choice bands. Um, that'd be totally cool with that. There's a lot of good reverses we get. Maybe Garboder, Trubbishes. Uh, okay, Double Turtonator and a Fire Energy. They are really just dead set on uh, giving us some uh, Turtonators here. All right. Here we have Orcorio and an Alolan Golem. And this has to be the longest attack name I have ever seen. Electromagnetic Rock Wrecker. <laughs> that is so obnoxious, but that's kind of cool though. Uh, if you guys know of a longer attack name, let me know below in the comments. But I think that's the longest one I've ever seen. Or that I can remember. But definitely a cool looking card. I don't actually own any of this guy yet. That's okay, and nothing else too special there. So we're definitely doing good on our hollow pools, like I was saying earlier. Uh, but maybe that just means we're going to get the, our uh, hollows out of the way for the box and pull some uh, extra ultra rares in this half. So we have Whalmer and Trevenant, which is a playable card. That's kind of cool. E Hammer and Aqua Patch, also playable cards. Okay, so we have Sableye and Swellow. Oh god. Okay, so Aqua Patch and E Hammer, that is good. But I gotta say, guys, this box is super stressful. Three Ultra Rares, and we only have I think like eight more packs or something like that. This is uh god. Okay. We really need some good stuff here. Uh Gudra and Oracorio. This is I don't even know what to say. I don't know the right word <laughs> to describe how I'm feeling right now. Or Corio and Salazzle. <sighs> okay. Come on. Come on. Something. Even if we pull less than the amount of Ultra Rares we're supposed to. Okay. Alter of the Moon and Garboder. I can. That's, that's a decent uh, pack right there. Uh, playable Stadium. Super playable. Regular Rare. And. Okay. But yeah, guys, we really need to pull some ultras back to back here just to make the average amount of pulls for a box. This is really getting scary. Aqua Patch, Reverse, and a Hollow Polytoad. This is. Oh man, so five packs left officially, guys. <laughs> and we need three more ultra rares to get like the average amount of pulls. Marini and Oracorio. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrible. This is the worst box I've probably opened ever so far. Well, I mean, we can still end on, on a good note. We'll see, but I'm scared, guys. And we have a Metagross GX, another dope Pokemon. Metagross is an awesome Pokemon from Gen 3, but another card that's just, like, not really playable. Ugh. Okay, so, God, <laughs> this is terrible, oh man, okay, like two full arts, so that's like kind of cool, but our ultra rares are not stacked enough, but you know, we got three packs, guys, I'm gonna try to be optimistic here, we have a chance, if we can pull like maybe a secret rare DCE, I'll say screw it, we can take all these ultra rares as long as we get something good. Uh, and that is not something good. We got a Wimpod and a Honchkrow, and then some more bulk. Two packs left, guys. Come on. Something. Something. Salanda and Sandslash. So this is... I mean, we have to get something out of this last box just to get like a slightly less than average ultra rare pull rate. Oh, man. Oh man. And a Mimikyu and Oracorio. 
Oh my God, this is like the absolute worst box I think I've ever opened of any set ever. Like, I'm sorry to be so pessimistic, guys. I hate to be like that. We did pull two full arts, but oh my God, this is a terrible box. Oh God, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna go through and uh, pull out our hollows and everything. And we're gonna do a quick little recap just to show off <laughs> what we got here. So give me one second. All right, guys, so for our hollows we got, we got Mudsdale, Absol, Blissey, Minior, Alolan Golem, and a Politoed. So we got six uh, hollows, which is the average as far as hollow pull rates. And then for our ultras, we got Metagross GX. Luckily, we got Lycanroc GX. That was our probably our best, uh, most playable card. A full art hollow, which is, is nice, I have to admit. And a full art Coma O GX. So, and I love Coma O, so it hurts me to like talk bad bound, but this card is terrible, guys. We got four ultra rare pulls. Four. And it's like, okay, if we had gotten like a four Lele or like a secret rare DCE, everything would have been cool. Been like, yeah, we didn't get that many, but we got some cool stuff. We didn't even get like anything groundbreaking. So, gotta say, guys, I'm really bummed out about this box, but we have two left. Hopefully, hopefully they can redeem us after this one so definitely stay tuned for those but as usual guys feel free to like and subscribe give me some pity here for this box <laughs> and as usual uh stay tuned like i said we have some more boxes coming um but yeah and also be sure to check out our merchandise over at rarecandytcg.com if you can pick up something to help support the channel it'd mean a lot to us but i appreciate you watching and we'll see you for box number five